Hey guys, welcome back to Small World Snooker Championship 2007 and part 3 of our career mode. Uh, in today's episode, we're taking on Steve Davis in the quarterfinal of the, uh, the, the Grand Prix. Now, if you haven't seen the last episode, go and check it out. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. And uh, thank you for all the support on the series so far. And, uh, and you know, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to another match today against Steve Davis, of course. I just hope that he's not in the commentary box commentating on himself. But I'm sure he won't be. I'm sure it'll all be fine and it'll be John Parrott. Because, to be honest with you, we've had John Parrott every match so far. So, you know, why fix it if it ain't broke? Um... Well, yeah, Steve Davis. Can't remember how good he is on this game, but we'll we'll just have to see, I guess. Welcome to this exciting quarterfinal at the Grand Prix. It's time to welcome the players into the arena, so let's give them a big hand. Come on, guys, give us a big hand. There we go. They're not happy with me because I knocked out their fan favourite in the last round. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the arena, Steve Davis. The Nugget making his way out of the arena. I'll tell you what, he wishes he had dark hair. <laughs> in 2007 but uh, big respect to Steve Davis of course six time world champion uh, was in the top 16 at the age of 50 which was absolutely crazy uh, got the quarterfinals of the world championship at the age of 52 one of Looks the best like ever to get up and go home and uh, there'll, there'll probably never be, well, be another... mad not to consider the safety wouldn't he Another player with the um, the longevity in the game that Davis has had, or Davis had, I should say. Um, you know, obviously Ronnie, nice John safety. Higgins, Mark Williams are the the obvious candidates. Out of the bag to get a pot here. What's Steve gonna do? Obviously, very much a a safety player, but what a shot that is! What a start of the match for Steve Davis there. The position looks good for him here. Whether he played it or not, I'm not sure. He's on the green. No, it was tough. I mean, that wasn't a, a very attacking shot for Steve Davis. He had a good go at a difficult pot. Would have been in a reasonable position for his next shot. It's um, one good start. It's a good pot, and he's well poised for the next. So a decent opportunity here to get some points on the board and maybe even win this first frame uh, and settle us down a little bit in this quarterfinal. Red near the black. I don't know why there's just a lot less pressure on this match than the one against Ronnie. I feel like I don't Nine. have to take absolutely every chance I get. And it's a good job because <laughs> we're not on anything here. Um... I think we might take this on anyway. So. Yeah, nice shot. Got position. And look at this. Well, I thought we I were in a little bit of better the position, the but uh, we're, we're okay Should on this red. Put this one away. Just needs to concentrate. We'll just drop it in, obviously. Thirteen. There's a chance to follow up from that good pot. Are we okay? Twenty. Maybe not. Oh no, I think we can get this one. That's not bad. Just drop this in. That'll do. He's got to travel around the table here. Yeah, there's John Parrott. So, 
Steve Davis not commentating on himself, thankfully. <laughs> that some, could sometimes happen in uh, 2005. Um, that was always rather funny when that happened. Well, we could. May as well get the chessboard out and have a few games while he's thinking about this shot. That's a good shot. This red should give him the requisite angle for the black, which in turn will leave him on the next red. He's got options here. Playing this into the, the pink and reds, although that's gone wrong. 27. Not the best shot in the world, but we will go for this green. Try and get this white back around. The green the doesn't table. present too many problems then. It's pretty good. Doesn't look like he's got a care in the world, does he? Great shot. Yeah. He was up against it, but responded well. Just try and drop this in and play the cannon. Oh, that's 31. gone wrong. That's gone wrong. It wasn't his best shot, but he'll probably settle for it. Looks close. I think we want to get nicely on the black after this one. He's only got his mind on one thing, potting this black. Well, I'm definitely struggling Probably here. Probably wants to get position back on the black. It's our plan. Once again, the black's opened up everything, so. Great shot. 52. Too much emphasis placed on the pot there. There's nothing really shouting out at him. off well we were never going to leave him an easy chance 51 points the lead one although I'd expect him to get right back into the frame at this visit I'm not expecting him to win it although I think he's playing safe here so impossible who on earth would ever play a plant like that? That's just ridiculous. So he's 47 behind. That's up on 40 behind. So he hasn't got that many points to play with. But uh, he's in a position now where he should be fine. You know, the 12. pink is the, the, the obvious issue. 19. That's 20. the last of the... Really easy reds. Now the rest of them are a yep, little bit challenging. Pot and he got a great position too. This one less challenging than the other one. We should be able to put this in. He can reach it, so yeah, nice pot. Twenty-eight. He's just got to drop right in behind this red. Well, he's taking it up into the top left 35. corner. That's a very he risky tends to shot. Play a lot of safety shots. Likes to put the pressure on his opponent. Nah, he's just playing safe, I think, or playing a double of some sort. Great. <laughs> but, uh, it's got it safe. It'd be a I'll risky one not to take the safety. I think we can play the double here, but uh, try and get that white behind the black at the same time. Hang on. Oh, close, but look where the white is. Well, Steve should be able to get out of this fairly comfortably, but it's not just hitting it, it's getting it safe. Oh, that is a brilliant hit. 
He's unlucky. If he looked any more relaxed, he'd be asleep, wouldn't he? But it's not the, it's the easiest pot in the world. On the black. I'm that certainly not playing on the black. Possible. Good yeah, pot. No shot. We had to play well, it like that. There's um, a few roads you can go down here. Because uh, we wanted to make sure that we'd, we'd cover the pocket if we ended up hanging it. So, good chance now, obviously. Yellow and green, and we've got this first frame. Positions. And obviously we've needed this a, green will put him a over couple the of horizon. chances, but it's not, it's not the end of the world. Ten. Fourteen. I think I might have missed this blue. Oh no, it's okay. Nineteen. Pretty much ideal on the pot to be a straightforward pot. Drop it in down the cushion. Twenty. And uh, no, it's a very good you first frame to win. For very long. He just sees a shot and takes it. And a much better start than the match against Ronnie. With a couple 32. of chances there, we've took the opening frame and we lead Steve Davis one nil. Got his nose in front. He won't be too comfortable until he's a good bit further ahead. That's pretty good. Obviously, left the he long red. Safe in the back of the book. I'm not certain he'll take it on. Well, he might do. Nah, just a safety shot. And that's hit the green. That's not a good safety from Steve. And the first chance goes to us. This one is probably one I'd like to take. Get on the black. It was a shot to nothing, but that didn't make it any easier. No. He's only got his mind on one thing: potting this black. Just gotta drop this black in. Make sure that you don't cannon the other red. This is already a pretty decent chance. So it looks like he needs a spider, and it's a real tough one, this. Nine. Poor position. Well, I... <laughs> Don't know what he was on about. I think he was just correcting himself there. So, stun this over. 17. Mm, that's a poor shot. We sh should have had a better angle than this. Well, we virtually have no angle, but we'll force it over for the red into the middle pocket. 24. Screw it back. Hopefully get half ball on the black. That's pretty perfect. Mm. He should proceed with caution. He might decide to break into that cluster. Great shot. That's not bad. 32. The stress of this match is really taking its toll on him. Should be able to knock this red in. Might even be able to avoid the cannon here. Two. We can't, well, we cannon the black, but it's okay. A few reds out into the open. I think he'll be looking for the right time to get into the reds. Is this it? I don't think it is. I think we're, we've got to bide our time here. So I'm going to screw back and get onto that red on the left-hand side. Yep, that's 40. okay. It's a good pot, and he's well poised for the next. That's five reds, yep, five blacks. Pot, and he got a great position too. Obviously the priority is the frame, but... 41. Back of our minds, Once we again, can think the about the 147. The option. Well, mm. 48. 
there's a potential red into the middle which is a tough one most definitely but most definitely is possible potable as well and that's pretty close thank goodness for Alan news and his nicknames I believe the first player to receive one was Cliff Thorbu who was titled the grinder and we've certainly had a few interesting ones since then well <laughs> again we break down yet Steve just plays safe and that's a good one that puts a bit of pressure on us now not sure if this cuts that is very very thin very very thin we can play it as a shot to nothing but almost a foul yeah, managed to go in one well, I think it ideal, is but sometimes you just have to have a crack and hope you've got luck on your side Great potty. Good pot there. His shot power is very poor and it can really let him down sometimes. Seeing a stun this down for the black. Mm. This should be 2 0. Turned into a much easier encounter than you would have expected. He's well poised for the next. That opens pretty much everything into play now. Definitely a very good chance. Let's see. 16. So just this black and one more red for a 2-0 lead. Obviously, we came back ourselves from 2-0 in 23. the last match, so it's very possible. Pressure shot coming up. You know, we have been fairly fortunate in not leaving a good chance for Steve yet. Yeah. There it is, 2-0. 24. I think we can be really happy with this it's a performance. Decent break, that. It's been very, very solid snooker that we've been playing. 31. Um, you know, decent, decent safety. Um, generally, very good potting. 32. I think we can be absolutely thrilled with how this has gone. That's a nice shot. 39. You can maybe drop this through. Maybe kiss that red. Mm, can quite 40. happen. So what will this be? This will be 47. So we can't quite make a sentry, so... Forty-seven. About popping the rest of them. So, we'll play some exhibition stuff now. Ooh. Oh, not quite. But a couple of good breaks of forty-seven in that frame, and well, we take a two-nil lead now. One more to get through to the semi-final. Psychologically, it never helps to be behind in a match, of course. Steve Davis breaks off in frame three, knowing that he can't make any more mistakes. And that's a very, very good start for Steve. Good break off. He's ahead at the moment, which always helps psychologically. Mm, tough. Very, very tough uh, safety we've got on our hands here. Very impressed if the white gets back to the bulk here. Well, it has done. I know we've left Steve a chance, but cue balls it's a, a tough long way one. From tight on the cushion, but he's found safety. But he is taking it on. Oh, nice close. pot from Steve. Nice one, one. early on in this mat, uh, in this frame to get his hand on the table. Start potting some balls. This is what he needs to do now. And he can't Seven. afford a miss from this situation. Plenty of reds available. P 
nothing available into both corner pockets, this is a great chance. Drop this red in, get on the pink. Eight. There's no room at the inn. That's going on the black spot. The position looks good for this red passes, so he's played a different red and gone up for the blue. Fifteen. Nice shot. Twenty. Gets rid of that red on the left hand side. Twenty one. Pink stunned down for one of oh, those. No. Oh, he's missed the pink. Well, he's took his eye off that. He's got a very unusual play style, this player. Very rarely see him applying any kind of spin. One. Now we're going to take the opportunity yep, to get the was black a great back pot on that spot. And he got a great position too. No. Should have been safer than that. Well. Each of the options has its advantages. He can play safe. Or go for the tough pot. It's a tough one. He's gone for it. Oh, lovely shot. After missing the pink off the it's black. It's a disappointing spot. shot. I mean, He's that was poor. Cool. Now the brown's down there. That's a good recovery. Superb. Don't think he's on the black though, so. He's making hard work of this. 12. He knows he's in a difficult position now. Thirteen. He's got the black. Twenty. Twenty-one. So, forty-six points the lead. Still seventy-five on the table, so... Twenty-seven. A couple of reds and colours away. Thirty-four. So this red... And the blue would be enough by one point. That forty. So this to make absolutely sure, and he does. Good frame from 41. Steve. This. I mean, we can be disappointed 48. we missed the black, but uh, he's took full advantage. Forty-nine. Bar missing the pink. Fifty. Been very good snooker from Steve in this frame. Four. And it'll be nice for him if he can. Sixty-one. Clear up the colours here. 62. And get himself a 97 break. Six. Or 96 it'll be. 71. 74. 78. Skillful positional shot. Nearly missed 89. that pick. Very good from Steve Davis. Nice break 96. of 96 there to get him back into the match. And one behind at 2-1. Well, I'm very, very pleased for that, Mr. Steve. Um, he scores the little lead in this match, but he'll have to keep looking over his shoulder. Well, Nothing to lose then. Quite an attack and safety, and well, look at that. One. What a long pot that is. Nice. Maybe that break of 96, just getting his confidence levels up. 9. And if he gets into the pack the here, down. Uh, he hasn't done. But if he did, everything would have been in the open. 17. 24. 25. Well, slightly surprised me went for the black 32. there, but two has been all black so far. Thirty three. Well, that is going to be end of break, surely. Pot, what a terrible shot that either. was. No, nowhere near. Where's that red going? That's unfortunate. Well, I don't think he'll mind queuing behind that. Looks like he was running a little too much on the final resting place of the cue ball there. That's the first points for him this frame. One. Well, that's it's a, a decent, decent pass chance. Puts him in a good position. He's not Steve a great position in his chair. He might find it hard to keep the cue ball under control here.
Eight. Yep, it was right. a great pot, Lots and he got a top. great position too. Lots of top trying to get into this pack. Oh, that's gone. Lovely position. Okay, I think. But the pink is going to go in the way. So are we actually on anything? I'm not sure. There's nothing really shouting out at him. Well, that is incredibly place, enough emphasis money. on positioning there. Good pot, mind. That is incredibly unlucky. We can play the three ball planned. It's of course very difficult. Good oh, it's pot. gone in though. Where's the blue? Where's the blue? 15. Oh my word. It's a fine cut then. Not easy. He's got to look at all the options before deciding which colour to go for. Oh, don't suit the ESL, Joe. 20. Not looking phased by his opponent at all. It was a very good three ball plan that we pulled out there to keep the break going. Twenty-one. It's looking good. That was close. It's a that good was pot. Very close. He's well poised for the next. He's got the option of the red near the pink. Can we get the cannon on the red near the black? No, we can't. Eight. Poor shot. Mm. He should proceed with We've caution. Got the green. Green isn't that difficult to shot, but uh, should have been easier than this. Good That's shot. Gone in. Need a nice kiss here, and we've got 31. one. Under the circumstances, he's done well there. I think he's yeah. decided to try and get a touch on the black. And again. 32. Mr. Cannon. That time I played for the pink in terms of if we missed it. But uh, the black does go into the other corner pocket, so you know, this really shouldn't be too much of an issue now. 39. It's a good pot, and he's well poised for the next. 40. That's not the best positional shot in the world. Looks like the spider is required here. Uh, I'd suggest we, we're, we're in a little bit of trouble here. This really is a really, to really to tough shot. To play the cue ball here. I think he's going to struggle. we got, got to try and get the, balls, the cue ball safe. It's in. 47. Well, very, very fortunate once again. Now, can we knock this black in? It's a tough one. I think we've got just about enough about us to do it. Could be. It's there. What a shot. Right in the heart of the pocket. Does this red go into the middle? No, it doesn't. So it's going to have to be another big shot. Close. It's he made there. That look a lot easier than it was. Will he take the pink on? One more good shot. And we've done it. Oh, how was that not dropped? How was, was that not wrong. dropped? I think he tried too hard. Well, if this red goes in... Ooh, oh, that's unfortunate. that was close. That was he close. Had a good shot, a difficult pot. Would have been in a reasonable position for his next shot. It's there. Skillful shot there. Well... The stress of this match is really taking its toll on him. 
He's spoiled for choice here. The black goes in. Eight. And barring suit is throughout the semi final. Very good performance here. Ten. In this match. Yep, it was a great pot and he got a great position too. He likes to keep the shots coming quickly when he can. Thirteen. Seventeen. That's a decent shot. Super position. Thank you, John. Yeah. You know, I don't think we've been at our best today, but we've took our it's chances well out. when we've had them. 28. And uh, though we'll have to play better to be a in the semi-final and potentially the final. I think we can be very, very pleased with that performance there. With that little break there at the end of 45, we complete a victory against Steve Davis, six-time world champion, by three frames to one. I think we can be thrilled with that. We'll play Barry Hawkins in the semi-finals, who beat Matthew Stevens in the previous round, 3-1. It is going to be a, a very tough match against uh, Barry uh, Stephen Hendry has beaten Stephen Maguire in the earlier semi-final 4-2 uh, so it's us against Barry Hawkins for the pleasure of playing the seven time world champion and king of the crucible Stephen Hendry in the final if you have enjoyed that then make sure you leave a like down below really does help me out means a lot to me as well subscribe to the channel for regular snooker content and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day Thanks for watching and goodbye.